Good evening and welcome to the Game of the Week on the Maine Cable Network right here on Time Warner Cable with Maine. This is, this is the game that everybody waits for. It's Thorn Academy, it's Benefit High School, and we're just about ready for the introductions as we get ready to roll. Uh, two teams coming in um, with uh, opposite uh, records, actually. The Tigers are two and six. Thorn Academy, six and two. And what can we expect from these two teams? My partner, by the way, Ron Cody. Ron, what do you think? Well, I, I know, you know, Thorn Academy, I've seen three or four times this season, and uh, uh, th they're going to give you that consistent, uh, tough man-to-man -to -man defense. They lead the league, the SMAA in uh, defense. Uh, uh, they've held teams down below 50 points in almost every contest. Uh, so they're, they're going to give you that tough man-to-man -to -man defense. On the other hand, uh, they, they, they don't score a whole lot of points either. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, good. it's a usually a low-scoring game when you're playing against Thornton. Uh, Benefit, on the other hand, they're going to need to combat that defense. They're going to need to uh, execute their offense extremely well tonight, set screens, get a lot of movement so they, they can get a lot of good looks at the basket. Otherwise, uh, they're going to be in trouble here. Yep. Well, it's at Thorn Academy. It's a big crowd here tonight on a, on a Friday night. Everybody has turned out, and uh, we're looking for a good one as the two rivals meet one more time. Uh, Ron and I will be back for the opening tip right after this. The 50, right and long, touchdown! Wide open, and in the net! Oh, All alone for the layup. And Macy! Don't miss out on another year of local sports. Become a sponsor of Main Cable Network's Game of the Week. Get the best seat in the house because Game of the Week delivers your local athletes in your community. Don't get sacked for a loss on this play. Be a part of the team and sponsor Game of the Week. Call the Main Cable Network today. And we're ready to roll here. Um, Sean Mayo jumping center, obviously, for Thornton Academy. And uh, for Biddeford High, that looks like uh, Logan Ratcliffe. Now ah, we're just about ready to roll. Let's go. Yeah, they're giving away some height here. Uh, Biddeford, uh, Boy, they Sean are, Mayo. aren't they? Yep. Jason Dupuis, number 11, will uh, control things from the outside. Oh, Biddeford's in their 1-2-2 uh, two, two, uh, matchup zone. If we wants to go, there's a long one coming from this corner, uh, put up by Dan Winnie, won't fall, and the Tigers come out of there with a the rebound. Hustling back quickly is Justin Tardif. Back out front to uh, Phil Barassa. Barassa's number 12, Tardif number 11. Looking to go inside, spinning, and look at that block by Mayo. Well, nice, uh, you know, whenever anyone penetrates against Thornton's man-to-man -man defense, you get the big guy in there, Sean Mayo, uh, who uh, does a lot of things, uh, whether he changes your shot or blocks the shot. <laughs> exactly. He's a factor. Shot goes up, won't fall, attempted three by Ratcliffe, and T.A. comes back down the other way. And he's but, also the rebounder, too. <laughs> yep, and there'll be a lot of this one-shot-and-out uh, type situation here. Be prepared for that tonight, folks. Dan Winnie, number 22, controlling the ball on the outside for T.A., Dupuis is number 11. Number 32 is Ben Wilson. And number 20 is Brian Skazinski. And, of course, Mayo is 52. And that's the current lineup for uh, the Golden Trojans. Mayo with the ball. Well, Tigers pretty, playing pretty good uh, defense uh, themselves here. Yes, they are. Pass back out front. Winnie has a notion. Now... We'll get it back to Dupuis, and we're going to try to set it up again. Dupuis drives, puts it up, and it's going to be either on the ball or on the hand, and they say on the hand. So Winnie will go to the line for a couple. I think it's a foul there by uh, Eric Ouellette, uh, or uh, is it Logan Radcliffe? They got uh, Logan Radcliffe yeah, on the scoreboard. They got Radcliffe's name up. And Dupuis will go to the line for two. We're scoreless with 6.15 remaining here in the first quarter. And we're still scoreless with 6.15 remaining in the first row. It's important for the uh, benefit to uh, uh, do a good job in the rebounding department tonight, give Thornton one shot and uh, a box out and uh, not allow them to get too many shots at the basket. Dupuis breaks the ice. It's one zip as we come up the other way with Barassa with the ball. Popping out is number 32, Eric Willett.
That's Jesse Brown out to uh, Barasa shot, won't go. Off glass and in, a nice play by Jesse Brown. Well, nice offensive rebound there by Jesse Brown and uh, uh, put the ball back up. 2-1 Tigers. And the ball is thrown away. Two hard passes, uh, Ben Wilson looking for Mayo underneath and Biddeford will come back up court. Well, Benefit executed a 2-2-1 zone press there, and uh, uh, what they're trying to do is uh, just uh, up the tempo a little to uh, uh, not uh, Thornton's liking. Barassa with the ball. Ratcliffe had, uh, had a move towards the basket on the baseline drive, but passed it back up front. And that's Ratcliffe with the ball now. He's number 34. Brown, no. Mayo can't control it, but the, now he does. And we go the other way with Dupuy bringing the ball up. Finds Winnie over here in the corner. He'll go to the other side. Brian Skazinski is number 20. Brian with the ball goes inside and he's gonna be hit, pushed from behind. Foul will go against uh, Willette. Yeah, Eric Willette is guiding um, uh, Sean Mayo. Uh, he's giving him a few inches, but uh, Eric's a strong kid and uh, he needs to just uh, uh, get in front of him a little sooner than, uh -huh. he's, uh, than he has. Nice passing, and we're going to get a call, a uh, travel call against Dupuy. They moved the ball around pretty nicely on that, and looked like they were setting up a shot. Thornton does. They, they've got a real balanced offense. They move the ball extremely well. They play well together. Uh, they just don't depend on one person. Barasa moving the ball around out front. A lot of defense being played under there, kids, on both sides of the, of the court. Barassa drives, finds Brown, puts it up, won't fall. Mayo strong on the rebound, and T.A. will hold it up. I thought that was nice penetration there by Philip Barassa and uh, made a nice pass for an easy shot, but they didn't cash in. The three falls. Well, Brian Skazinski's been their man. He's, uh, he's the guy that uh, uh, usually gets them going offensively, uh, defensively. Uh, he picks up offensive rebounds and does a lot of things for Thornton. And right there, he made a big three-point shot for him. Four to two, T.A. Steal, yes, yes, no. <laughs> well, wait a minute. It won't be saved. Skazinski drives up for two. Well, a, a good turnover there by Thornton Academy and uh, a nice pass down court to Brian Skazinski for the layup. And very quickly, Kie has opened up a 6-2 to two lead here in the early going. And that pass is going to go out of bounds. Off the hands, really, of uh, Jesse Brown, who just couldn't control the pass. And we're going to have a timeout. Well, Phil Barres is going to do a little better job here of uh, starting the offense, getting the offense going. He's their leader. You know, he's the guy that's the point guard. So. Yep, you got it. And that pass was just a little off, as we said, and uh, couldn't be controlled. Uh, a little of... Uh, scrambling offense there. Uh, they all count, but uh, uh, those uh, the last two points came as uh, everybody was moving around in different directions. Six to two, Thornton on top, 332 remaining in the first quarter, and uh, the fans are loving it here at Thornton Academy. Well, you know, we got two good officials tonight, too. Two veteran officials, uh, Bobby Clark, yep. who's been in the league for many years, and uh, Clay Halliday, who's uh, two veteran, and, and that's the kind of guys you need in this particular game to to uh, control things. <laughs> you said it. Dupuy. And there's a steal. It's Barassa trying to outgun Skazinski and he's gonna be fouled. Well, nice steal by Philip Barassa and uh, he's got some quickness and he took the ball to, to the basket and uh, uh, going against uh, Thornton, uh, one of Thornton's best defensive players, Brian Skazinski, who picked up the, the foul. Phil Barassa will be at the line for uh, a couple here. Well, Phil's only a sophomore, and he's yeah. a, uh, a good good player. He's going to be a very good player by the time he's a senior. Cuts the lead down to three, and the um, Tigers are making a couple of uh, substitutions. Checking in is Kevin Laranger, number 23, and number 22 is Brian LaVarrier. Barras' second shot drops. Well, benefit back in their 2-2-1 uh, zone press. Uh, one of the things that Thorns had a hard time with is they they turned the ball over, and uh, I think Benefit wants to uh, make them uh, earn that. Brian Daly has his pocket picked, and driving 
It's called a jump. Possession arrow will favor Bitterford. That was a great that pass. That is a good call, too, I yes, think. Yes, it was. It was a great pass by Kevin Laranja for uh, uh, for the shot. But as you mentioned, great defense by Thornton and yep. a, a good call by Clay Halliday there. Brian Laveria is going to throw the ball in, looking for somebody to cut, finds his man. Ball gets back over here to Willette, and he's going to be fouled. Well, Eric Willette uh, got that uh, loose ball, picked it up, and went strong to the basket, and uh, Sean May have fouled him. Yes, indeed. First foul for uh, Mayo, number 52. And well, at number 32 will be at the line. It's six to four in favor of Thornton. You said at the top of the show, Ron, that this would be more than likely a low-scoring game, and we're watching a lot of defense, and it's working out to be just that. Well, Thornton plays great defense. Uh, again, as I mentioned, they're, they're the best in the league, yep. and uh, uh, when you play them, it's not a high-scoring game. So you got to get some good looks at the basket. You got to work hard to get good looks at the basket, and uh, and when when you get the good looks, you got to make them. Yeah, absolutely. Because they usually give you only one shot too. They 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 uh, they rebound well too off their defense. Max Janelle, number 42, is checked in for the uh, Trojans. Pass is going to be stolen. Barassa getting there quickly, and now he's going to slow things down as the numbers catch up to him. Laranja with the ball, and that's going to be out of bounds again. That's a couple they've thrown away tonight. Yeah, those are the those are the things that uh, Bitterfield has to avoid. Uh, uh, unnecessary turnovers like that because uh, uh, that just falls in uh, Thornton's hands. Yeah, it's going to kill him on the long over the long stretch. Yes, right? you're right. It's got to have to have to have to. Skazinski throws the ball here into uh, Dupuy, and I'm sorry, make that Brian Daly number ten. Winnie on the other side. Looking for a pass, and he's going to be held, they say. There's going to be a call. It should be on Barassa. Yeah, Phillip uh, reached in on that and uh, got called for the foul there. You know, he's got quick hands. He, mm -hmm. he likes to use uh, that uh, technique quite a bit, but sometimes that gets him in foul trouble. We're tied at 6 with 2.30 left here in the first quarter. We're at Thorn Academy, and this is the game of the week on the main cable network. Daly wants to drive, does drive, and now what do we got? Foul being called. I think another foul on uh, Philip Barassa. Again, uh, he's You're picked right. up two unnecessary fouls here very quickly, and uh, he needs to watch himself. He's already got two. Yep. Skuzinski comes way out front to Winnie. Daly looks. And the Thornton offense, very deliberate. No rush. Janelle looking for Mayo, decides not to go there. Winnie is free on this side, off glass for two. Nice, well done. Yeah, wide open, uh, uh, Woody uh, uh, for the, got the pass and uh, made the shot. 8-6, Thorn Academy leads with uh, under two minutes in the first quarter. And a good one here from Thorn Academy. And a foul is going to be called on Janelle on the block. Yeah, Janelle reached in and uh, got called on the foul there against Jesse Brown. TA, I'm sorry, make that. Bitterford sending in a couple of kids. Number 21 is Chris Bennett. And uh, number 11 checking back in, I believe, is Justin Tardif. Right, Sean Brown, number 24, is in the game also. Right, and the Barrasso will set with his two fouls. That's Jesse Brown with the ball. He decides to drive. Shoots it back out. Nice pass. Great pass there by Jesse Brown over to Sean Brown for, uh, for the layup. Ties it at eight. A little bit of a pa pressure here being applied by the Tigers. Almost stolen. A three. Oh, rims out. Janelle blocked. Mayo not blocked. Well, it's a good block initially by uh, Jesse Brown, but uh, Sean Mayo was right there to get the, uh, that rebound and put it back up. First two tonight for Mayo, and it's a 10-8 lead. Once again, two points advantage for Thorn Academy as we come down to one minute left in the first quarter. My name is Roger Pancho. My partner is Ron Cody. We're at Thorn Academy for Time Warner Cable of Maine's Game of the Week. Well, Bitterford being patient here offensively also, working hard against, uh, you know, Thornton's uh, tough, tough man-to-man -to -man defense. Jesse Brown on the outside. Had a great drive and pass on his last. He's going to try that again. He will be fouled on the way in. Uh, Jesse's doing a real nice job of... Uh, uh, breaking uh, Thornton's defender down and just taking the ball to the basket. Second quick foul, by the way, on Max Janelle, and Max is going to check out. And uh, Logan Radcliffe is coming in, giving uh, Jesse Brown a, a, 
a breather here. Yeah, and Ben Wilson, number 32, comes in for Thorn Academy. The Tigers with the ball. A little bit of a head fake, doesn't really fake anybody. Sean Brown, back out front to Ratcliffe. And the ball goes out of bounds. Too many times, Ron, too many times. Well, I think we've seen that uh, three times tonight where uh, Biddeford's uh, passed the ball and uh, has thrown it out of bounds. Exactly right. It's 10-8 with 25 seconds left. The press is on. Skazinski gets out of it very quickly. We come back out front. Daly will take a three. Well, you know, Thornton's doing a real nice job of breaking Biddeford's pressure. And uh, what they're doing is uh, in the offensive end, they're hitting the open man. They've also opened up a five-point lead with time running out. Good if it went, but it didn't go. We've completed our first quarter from Thorn Academy. Our score, TA 13, Biddeford 8. Ron and I will be back with the second quarter right after this. From the quarter mile at St. Louis to the third turn at Talladega to the pits of Laguna Seca Wherever innovation is the margin between win and lose, the pros reach for the same tools you do. Craftsman, the official tools of CART, NHRA, and NASCAR. Craftsman tools are at Rick Carroll and Roger St. Michael Sears in Biddeford. Ready for the second quarter. It was a good one. First quarter was uh, well played, Ron, don't you think? Very well played. Uh, both teams playing uh, uh, good defense and uh, very disciplined on offense. And... I don't know if we mentioned it, Raj, but there's a great crowd here tonight. Oh, uh, yeah. People standing along the wall, and uh, uh, I think it's one of the first times that we've had a doubleheader, girls, varsity girls, varsity boys, doubleheader for yeah, a it fits on game. Right, and boy, it really paid off here tonight. Daly comes out of the uh, stack there with the rebound off the missed shot, and uh, he's going to try to set things up front for T.A., they're always looking to go to Mayo, of course, but that doesn't always open up. And so uh, you do other things. Yeah, they're balanced, as we've mentioned. They are. Dawn's very balanced. They don't come down and, you know, look for Mayo all the time. Exactly. Um, right ben now we've got Ben Wilson and Sean Mayo working together in the post, and, uh, and then they've got the three perimeter guys outside. Yep, and they're moving the ball very nicely out there in front. There's Dupuy with the drive. He finds Mayo, and Mayo finds the basket for two. Well, that was a great penetration drive by Jason Dupree and uh, a nice, nice pass uh, to Sean Mayo for the layup. 15 to 8 now as uh, the Golden Trojans have pulled out to a 7-point advantage with 6.55 remaining in the second quarter. Hard drive, shot up and good, and that's a beautiful drive by Justin Tardif. Well, outstanding drive there by Justin Tardif. Went up strong against, uh, uh, ended up meeting uh, Sean Mayo in the paint. A lot of pressure by the Tigers coming back on defense. 15-10. T.A. on top here. Daly. And he finds, well, they get it over to Winnie for the three. Yes! Oh, Danny Winnie hitting a, a nice shot there from the corner with uh, Eric Willett right in his face, too. Five points for Winnie tonight. 18-10 advantage now as uh, that three-pointer Pulls uh, T.A. on top by eight. 18-10. Ratcliffe with the ball. And he finds Barassa off the tips of his fingers. Daly fakes, puts it up. Won't go. Strong rebound, however, by the Tigers. And Barassa will hustle it back the other way. He's got a three on one. And that'll be a goal ten, I believe, as Mayo batted it off glass. Oh, that was a nice pass by uh, Phil Barassa on a three on one fast break and they got uh, Sean Mayo on the goaltend there. And I believe the kid that was breaking for the basket was Tardif. We'll give him the two. Right. Justin Tardif was the one. 18-12 now is our score. A lot of action there and well played on both sides. Mayo coming back from nowhere to uh, block that ball off glass. Dupuis hard drive. Takes it back. That's Dan Abood, number 23, for Thorn Academy in the lineup right now. Abood with the ball. Wants to go baseline. Does go baseline. Put, pops it back out. Dupuis calls the signal, uh, asking for somebody to come over and, and help. 
And one more time, he'll come back out here to uh, Brian Kaczynski back in the lineup. Abood. Inside, well, Mayo. Very patient here, Rod, Aren't on they offense. Though? Yeah, they move the ball very well. They really wait till they get a good shot. And again, there were opportunities. There's an opportunity again. Mayo puts up a beautiful shot. I mean, that's a that's a great shot. Yeah, great ball movement. And uh, again, they get a good look at the basket. Sean Mayo there with a nice little uh, jump shot. Yep, 20 to 12 now. TA up by eight once again. Benefit working uphill in this one so far. Jesse Brown gets the pass over to Willett, who can't hang on, and it goes out of bounds. That's four times. <laughs> well, the thing that's hurting Benefit right now is their uh, uh, their errant passing, yep. uh, really uh, causing some turnovers, and you just can't do that against a good team like Thorn Academy. A boot on the outside. Drives, no, but he's gonna get hit. And the plow will be on Barasa, Ronnie, and I think that's three, right? Right, that's gonna be uh, Third foul on Philip Barassa, and uh, still 4.15 left to play here in the second period. And very quickly, we're going to get, well, no, we're not going to get. They had a boy at the no. looking to come in, but then they decided against it. I guess they're going to keep Philip in the game. And, I guess. Uh, hope that uh, he doesn't pick up his fourth foul. The refs are discussing something. But it's uh, Jesse Brown who will be uh, throwing the ball in. Well, you know, on the scoreboard, they've got uh, Eric Ouellette, uh, take committing the foul, so uh, maybe they didn't call it on Philip Barassa. Whoa, that's interesting. I could have sworn it was yeah, on Phil. Uh, me too. Well, all right. Tardiff on the drive, and that ball is just picked up beautifully. Oh, that's great defense by uh, Brian Skazinski. Great help side defense. Yeah, I think in hockey you call that back checking or something, but he came back with a ball beautifully. I wouldn't know that, Rod. No, I wouldn't know it either. <laughs> All I know, it's cold. I don't do hockey games anymore. Mayo for two. Sean Mayo working very, very hard, getting the offensive rebound, putting it up, and getting fouled. Can't ask for more than that. And uh, eight points now for Mayo, six of them here in the second quarter. No, that was a very impressive play there by Sean Mayo. And he has very quickly become the leading scorer here in the game, and he's going for the uh, for the foul shot and hits it. He's only a junior, Rog. He's Amazing. gonna be a, a, a just an outstanding, he's an outstanding player now, but he's yes, just he gonna is. be that much better next year as a senior. Yeah, he's gonna be just a little bit bigger, a little bit tougher, a little bit older, obviously, and more seasoned, and well, you put it all together. Oh, there's a beautiful three by Jesse Brown. Kid can shoot, Brian. Yeah, something bit of it needed right now. They've uh, they've taken their press away, now they're back in their 1-2-2 uh, their matchup zone defense. It cuts it back down to eight, where they've been more or less much of the time. It's 23-15. A boot on the outside. Shot won't fall. Rough, tough work underneath for the rebound. It's Brown coming out of there. On the fly, Ratcliffe for two. Well, oh, that's a nice uh, body control drive there by Logan Ratcliffe. Took the ball real well to the basket and controlled his body. Cuts it to six at 23. 16 with 250 remaining in the first half. It's a good one here from Thorn Academy. Mayo says, I'll take it back out front Dupuy and Abood looking for Skazinski who says from here yes won't fall battle for the rebound comes back out front Abood to Dupuy inside Mayo too far out pops it back out Abood had a notion of going baseline Skazinski goes the other way. Now a boot again, baseline, and the pass is stolen. And we're going to get a, a walk. He's uh, palming the ball. Right, he carried the ball, what the referee uh, called on that. Uh, again, you know, Thornton getting, uh, you know, uh, an offensive rebound in their last series, and that's something that Biddeford just needs to, they just need to give them one shot. Otherwise, they're going to get themselves in trouble. Yep. Uh, because Thornton is is so patient offensively that they want to break you down defensively and end up with a good look at the basket. And they usually do. They lead by six points. You look back and you see the four turnovers right. and the bad passes. Now, that's not to say that they would have scored. But at least they would have had an opportunity Thornton to score, score that they didn't get. That's right. So you never know what might have developed. So that's how close these things can be. Six-point advantage. It could be no advantage had those, uh, those turnovers not occurred. 
but it's a good one. It really is an interesting game, exciting game. The fans seem to love it here uh, in Saco. With 2.07 left, 23.17, TA always on top. And again, scoring is very easily uh, spread out all over the place with TA, as we said. Uh, Sean Mayo leads all scores with uh, nine. Uh, Skazinski and Winnie both have five, three for Daly and a one point for Jason Dupuy. On the Benford side, we have four for Tardiff, a couple for um, Phil Barassa on foul shots. Jesse Brown is five, including a three-point shot. Sean Brown, Eric Willette, and Logan Rackliff all have two points each. And we're looking uh, at the last two minutes of the first half. Well, it's been a good one, Roger. Boy, so it has. Far. It has. A lot yep. of fun to do it. Brian Skazinski brings the ball in over to uh, Dupuy, and he'll uh, bring it up court. Skazinski on the outside finds Daly, who wants to drive. Drive puts up the shot, and it's going to go. It's still uh, Thorn Academy. Yeah, it was blocked okay. and uh, hit the back of the backboard. So right. it's still Thorn Academy's ball. Skazinski looking to throw it in, finds Mayo. Daly and Dupuy on the outside. And now Skazinski joins them. A three. No. Gets his own rebound. Tries to find um, Dupuy, but the ball was knocked out of bounds, I think, by Barassa. Well, again, see, uh, you know, Thorne took their first shot. They missed it, but now they still get the ball. And, and that's what, you know, Biddeford needs to get that defensive rebound. Since they came back from that timeout, Ron, 30 seconds went off the clock. It's been all Thornton Academy possession. Right. And no, no pressure, no rush, no, no hurry. No, they just take their time. And, uh, you know, that's another reason why the game is so low when you play against Thornton, because uh, they don't rush their shots. Yep. They take their time. We're down to a minute and 20. Remember, it was 2.07 when we uh, came, had that timeout. And it's almost a minute that, that's gone by as Janelle puts up the shot. Won't fall Mayo there. Goes back up, blocked out of his hands by uh, Jesse Brown. And we've got a foul being called, so it'll stay down here, I believe. Yep. Uh, again, you know, they're going to get their third opportunity they will. Uh, to, to, get the, uh, uh, to get the basket. We're down to a minute five in the uh, half, and it's all been thrown in possession uh, since that timeout. Mayo will be fouled and go to the line for a couple. Well, he was triple teamed that time and uh, still got the ball in there, was still able to maneuver and uh, get his shot off. Uh, uh, now he's going to the foul line. PA is two for three at the line tonight so far. Mayo one for one. And he'll get a couple here with 101 remaining in the first half. Good as gold. Yeah, he's a good foul shooter, Sean is. He is. Got a nice touch, good, uh, uh, good technique. I believe Max Janelle has checked back in for the uh, Golden Trojans. That second shot will fall, and the Tigers will have to hustle it up. Under a minute left, Barasa with the ball. Jesse Brown looking for somebody. And that's stolen. You can see it coming. Daly puts it up and in. Well, nice steal there off their tough defense, uh, off their denial defense, and uh, uh, ended up with a, uh, an easy layup. 29 point, I make that nine point lead for Thorne Academy very quickly here with uh, 27 seconds left. The shot was up, won't fall. Mayo is under there, working hard. However, it's stolen away on, on a nice, nice bit of hands there by Brian, Le uh, take that back, Sean, Sean Brown. Sean Brown, right. And now out front here is Kevin Loranger. Loranger over to Jesse Brown. And now Barassa pops out. Barassa goes yeah. inside and it's gonna be off the foot of somebody. That, it'll stay Biddeford ball. Well, they got a break on that one. Yeah, they got a one second left on the clock they too. They do. And they were setting up a last shot play with Philip Barassa penetrating and uh, made a nice dish, dish pass, but uh, just went out of bounds. And that'll end it. We've completed a half of play here from TA in our score at Thorn Academy, 26, and Biddeford, 17. And before we uh, leave you for the moment, we just want to remind you all that this game is being brought to you by St. Michael's Sears in Biddeford at 380 Elm Street. Phone number is 283-2423. Again, we want to thank St. Michael's Sears uh, for uh, sponsoring this game, making it all possible for us to continue to bring high school uh, basketball and hockey to you in this area from Biddeford.
Carton and Old Orchard Beach. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with the second half right after this. A few tips on how to buy appliances. First, go to the only place that carries all six top brands. This is preferable to a place that carries two or three brands. Next, go to a place that'll guarantee they'll match any price, period. Finally, go to a place where they have lots of experience. 75 years ought to do it. And the best tip of all, just go to Sears. The best place for appliances. Rick Carroll and Roger St. Michael, Sears in Biddeford. Is that a, a 26, right? We're ready for the start of the second half, and our score is 26, 26 to 17. Thornton Academy on top of Biddeford, and uh, it's been a good one so far, Ron, and I imagine that we're going to see more of the good stuff here in the second half well, as uh, Barasa brings it up and out. Well, I was just going to mention that it's important for Biddeford to, uh, <laughs> to start out well here in this third period, and uh, they start out by throwing the ball away. There you go. And I think we made a point that that was part of the story of that first half, certainly, for the Tigers. Thornton plays very well, a very deliberate type of game, as we've uh, talked about several times. And uh, Biddeford now applies a little bit of pressure. PA up, he stepped over the line. He really did. We right. saw it. That was Dan Winnie. And so the Tigers will get it back. No damage done here in the early going, and Barasa will uh, bring it up court. Well, it's important that Biddeford doesn't get down by two too much here because it's so hard to score against their, uh, their defense that uh, you don't want to get down by too much. Well, that on the drive is fouled by uh, Skazinski, I believe, and he'll go to the line for a couple. Mayo could not get back down underneath to, uh, to help out on that play, and so well, that had pretty much of a, an open move to the basket. He makes the first shot. That cuts it to eight. And that cuts it to seven. Well, two good foul shots there by Eric Willett. Uh, He's four for four of the line, by the way, tonight. Yeah, that's a good, real good foul shooting. Can't get better than that, Can't Roger. get better than that. Jason Dupuis, number 11. Winnie, number 22. Winnie looking for some folks underneath. Mayo crosses. Dupuis holds onto the ball. And it's almost stolen out of there by the quick hands of Barassa. Skazinski will go baseline, bottled up very quickly, and he's going to travel. Well, that's a good call by Clay Halliday. I thought he had taken an extra step, too, in that baseline drive, and uh, he got caught for it. Good defensive move also by Jesse Brown, yeah, cutting him off. Great did, help. Huh? Yeah, they, they did a nice job trapping the baseline. This is Justin Tardiff, number 11, and Ratcliffe over here with the ball. Logan looks down the middle of the court, finds Barras over here. Nothing happening on this side. Jesse Brown with the ball. Decides to try baseline, runs into Mayo, and it's going to be called a uh, possession. Yep. Tied up, and it'll go to Thornton on well, the arrow. Well, that's a great defensive play there by Sean Mayo. Yep. He, he stopped the baseline drive on the help and uh, uh, created the turnover. Got the hand up, tied it up. 26-19 is our score. Seven-point advantage, TA on top. Winnie with the ball. Up front, Dupuy inside, stolen out of there, but popped out of Mayo's hands, actually, into the hands of Willette, and now we're throwing it away at the other end. A little hard, and a little fast. Well, nice, uh, down this end on defense, I thought Jesse Brown got his hand in there, did a nice job against Mayo. Doubling up on the ball, and we're going to get a heavy foul as Kaczynski uh, got into... Uh, Tardiff just a little bit, and uh, Tardiff will go to the line for a couple. Yeah, a good steal there by Justin Tardiff, and, uh, you know, he took the ball the ball strong to the basket and got fouled by uh, uh, Skazinski. Tigers are 6-6 six six at the line, by the way, in this game, so they haven't been hurting themselves there. No, they just need to cut down their turnovers. Exactly. Tardiff with a shot and a hit. Yeah, they're shooting well from the foul line. Very well indeed, 26-20, as Winnie will come out of the lineup, replaced by Daly. And Tardiff will attempt his second shot. Gets them both. 26-21. Uh, they're calling the uh, basket no good. Ah. 
to the chagrin of the benefit coach, by the way. So that ball, that there was a that, violation there somewhere, oh, sorry, and, sorry. I, and I didn't. Uh, no, I didn't catch, I didn't catch it. it. Skuzinski with the ball gets it over to uh, Tardif. I'm sorry, make that uh, Dupuy, who's fouled very quickly, by I believe by Rackliff. Yes, and that's the third foul on Logan Rackliff. TA inbounds the ball up by six at, with six minutes left in the third quarter. Dupuy thinks about going to Mayo, but uh, backs out of there. Duke Daly now will come this side, inside. Mayo wants to work back out front once again, but Bitterford adjusts very nicely defensively and they stay with the ball. Dupuy again, Daly on the other side, inside, back out to Daly, thinks of the three, drives down the lane for two. Yeah, nice drive by uh, uh, Brian Daly there for uh, the two shot. Seven, uh, two points, I'm yep, sorry. Seven points for Daly, by the way, of the 28, 28-20. Benefit always trying to get back into this thing. And we're gonna go backcourt. Barassa says somebody else touched it, the ref says, sorry. Well, I won't buy it. Rackliff is going to sit with the three fouls and checking in for the Tigers is Kevin Laranger, number 23. Dupuy with the ball over to Daly. They operate out front. Skuzinski in the corner. Daly almost stolen and out of bounds. Oh, good defense there by Justin Tardiff. Almost got the, uh, the turnover. Bobby Clark, the official, is right on the play. Well, he was. Dupuy on the outside. It's very deliberate offense that we've talked about uh, is working again here for Thorn Academy. With the eight-point advantage, they're in no hurry. I don't think they'd be in a hurry if they were eight points down. They're going to play their game. Right, right. And there's a three that doesn't fall. Well, look at Skazinski for that rebound. Well, and he's gonna get fouled. It'll go against Jesse Brown. You know, that's something you don't teach right there. Brian Skazinski does that extremely well, mm -hmm. probably better than anyone in the SMAA. When that shot goes up, he sneaks down the baseline and picks up a ton of offensive rebounds. Amazing. And the referee goes over and talks to Jesse Brown, pats him on the back. <laughs> it's a you know, life is okay, kid. You're all right. <laughs> Don't worry about it. The sun will rise tomorrow. Skuzinski puts up the shot, and it rims out. I believe you, Raj. I think that's what he told them. I think so. Something like that. <laughs> he gets the second. Well, Thornton builds a nine-point lead here, and uh, a bit of it's it's got to be careful because they don't want this thing to go in double double digits. For sure. Six points for Skuzinski, by the way, as Barassa handles the offense from the outside. Now Brown wants to drive, and we're going to get a foul. On Ben Wilson, I believe, number okay. 32. Yep, you're right. First foul on uh, Wilson. Benefit retains possession as... Uh, Loranger looks to find somebody. He finds Tardiff, I guess. Tardiff with the ball, looking for people to move. He's got Barrasso over here. Barrasso wants to go inside, and uh, they're not going to get the ball away from Mayo as he just gobbles things up from the knee. Well, he's got such a, a big presence inside that whenever you take the ball to the basket, you know that he's there. And, you know, he can change his yes. shot uh, just like that. Or even if he isn't there, you know he's coming. You right. know, he's a, exactly. he has such a, a, a presence. And the ball, uh, well, we got a ball go boy going down. I think, I think we're going to have a foul call. Yeah, there. I think Skazinski came on strong there on that uh, rebound. Dan Winnie back in the lineup, and Skazinski is coming out. It's the fourth foul, by the way, on Skazinski. And that could have an effect on this game if the Tigers can uh, put a little offense together here. 29-20 is our score. We have 3.26 left here in the third quarter from Thornton Academy. 
Barrasso with great hands finds Wallet who battles the trees and loses. Well, that was a great pass by Philip Barrasso. Yep, Mayo is down. And he's up and he looks okay. I always hate to see somebody go down like that. Well, that checks out for the Tigers. And uh, in the lineup for Bitterford is uh, Sean Brown, number 24, out front to Winnie. Daly thought of it, puts up a two, and gets it. Brian Daly does that really well. Every game that I've seen Thorne play, he's got that, that nice little short jump shot that he cashes in on uh, quite a bit. Well, the scoring is five to three here in the third quarter for Thornton Academy with 2.40 left and on the drive, we're gonna get a block called on Thornton's Ben Wilson. Yep. And Willette is getting up slowly. No, that's, Jesse, Jesse, uh, Jesse, that's Brown. Uh, Jesse Brown. All right, Willette is already sitting down. And Brown is favoring, uh, I don't know what it is, a knee, an ankle? Yeah, it looked like he banged up his, uh, his knee. That's yeah. what it looked like to me. And the rest are talking to him and they've decided, yeah, somebody should come in for this. Guy. Yeah, Logan Ratcliffe is coming in uh, to replace uh, Jesse Brown, and I'm sure the trainer is going to take a look at that. Uh, yep, at Brown Jesse. is going off. So they're going to take another look at him, but uh, I believe that it was uh, Jesse who was supposed to be at the foul line. But anyway, they guess there's no foul being... It m must not have been a shooting foul. Right. 31-20, I'm sorry, Ryan. No, it was on the drive, Ron. Okay. That's all I want to mention. Yep. It's 31-20 uh, with 2.42 remaining in the third quarter. Larangia will throw it in for uh, Bitterford. Ball comes into uh, Rackliff, now Barassa. Up against a man, man to man, and the shot is up and good. And how did that go up? That was in? a I don't tough, know. tough shot by Logan Radcliffe going up against Sean Mayo. How that? You're right. How do you get that ball through know. that? It, uh, is beyond me. It's a nine-point advantage. Mayo is all alone. A nice pass by. Uh, I, I think uh, Brian Daly made that pass. Yep. Great pass to Sean Mayo. Lorenzo wants to go inside. We're going to take it from there. Yes, a nice shot indeed by Sean Brown. Yeah, good shot by Sean Brown. Tigers stay close or at least try to stay within the single digits. It's 33-24, under two minutes left. Thornton has controlled things pretty much from the onset, and uh, they were tied at six, as I recall, tied at eight, and then uh, TA pulled away for a five-point advantage. They haven't looked back. Winning. This is Daly out front. A lot of, look at the bodies colliding. They are gonna call something under there. Yeah. It was Janelle and uh, Brown battling. Yeah, they were both battling inside and uh, uh, usually it's always the second guy that gets caught that's and right. uh, that time they got uh, Max Janelle. And that's three uh, fouls on Max. Jesse Brown is back in the game for uh, Biddeford replacing uh, Justin Tata. That's good news. Good news for Jesse, but just good news period. But we don't wanna see people hurt. Jesse Brown with the ball. Back out front. Larangia has a notion. Barras is going to get blocked as uh, Daly got up and got a hand on it. And T.A. comes back down court. Janelle wants to go baseline. He's going to throw it away. Just got beyond them. A little bit. Yeah, a couple of Thorns had a couple possessions here where they, if they scored, they would have gone up uh, uh, in the double digit. You're right. Uh, uh, Bitterford just keeps uh, hanging around here uh, in the nine point category. We were under a minute left in the third quarter. It's a nine point game. Kevin Laranger is in the corner. And Jesse Brown fakes one way, goes the other, puts it up. He'll be fouled. Somebody will be fouled. Yeah, I believe the foul is on uh, Jason Dupree. Okay, yep, number 11. His first foul of the night, and uh, Jesse Brown will be at the line. Five points tonight for Jesse. The 
scoring is very evenly spread out for the Tigers. Again, the Tigers uh, shooting extremely well from the foul line. Yep. Down by eight points now. We got 44 seconds left in this uh, in this period. Yeah, he can't collect that one. Mayo comes out of there with the ball, and Winnie will bring it up. 33-25. Mayo, he'll shoot from there. Nice steal. Brown, no, make that rack lift. I'm sorry, getting the, ahead of the, the pass. Loranja wants to go baseline, does, passes it away, and out of bounds. And the Benefits fans say, no, 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 that was off the point in the kid's leg, and coach yeah. is arguing. Yeah, the Benefit crowd and the Benefit coach is not happy with that. And the referee says, uh, please sit down. We have a basketball game to play here with 20 seconds left. Daly. 15 seconds left. 10 seconds. Max Janelle with the ball. And he gets a strip. Radcliffe comes out of there, hangs on to it, puts it up and in. Oh, nice steal by Logan Radcliffe and a great job of taking the ball uh, all the way to the rim and beating the, the, beating the clock, he really. He beat the buzzer by a second, right. and that ends the third quarter. We've done three here at Thorn Academy, a score. TA 33, the Tigers 27. Ron and I will be back with the fourth quarter right after this. All over America, people are taking the national radon test. Have you? Oh, you put me on the spot. True or false, radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer. True. I'd say false. No, it's true. That's something new to me. The Office of the Surgeon General recommends all homes be tested for radon. False. It's true. True. So it's bad. We should get our house tested. Sure, I'm going to call it. 1-800-SOS-RADON. How can you not call? 1-800-SOS-RADON. <laughs> It was a nine-point game at a half, Ronnie. They've cut it down to six, 33-27. Benefit continues to trail, but it's one of those games, like you said before, they sort of hang around, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you never know. Uh, it, could, it could change here very dramatically. Yeah, well, you know, it looked like Thorn could, uh, you know, had a couple positions I mentioned that could get them into a double, uh, double digits as far as the lead. Uh, but uh, Benefit just keeps hanging around, hanging around, and now they've cut it to six. Exactly. So they're still in this game. There's one period left, and uh, it's it's an excellent uh, basketball game. Sure is. And looking at Benefit scoring, the leading scorers are two boys each with six points. Uh, Jesse Brown and Logan Ratcliffe tells you how close the scoring is. We'll look at the Thornton kids in just a minute. Ratcliffe with the ball. He's going to drive and leave the ball behind him. Daly is going to move hard. Puts it up. Yes! A nice drive there by Brian Daly. And 11 points tonight for Brian Daly. A very quiet 11 points. 35-27 in favor of the uh, Golden Trojans. And they're going to come out of there with the ball. Abood is going to be called for steps or something. I, I think uh, Ben Wilson stepped out of bounds uh, okay. here, I think, is what, uh, what they said. Well, Jesse and Brown is back in the game, Roger. He is. Me, and he's limping around here. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Yeah. Now that you mention it, in fact, he's limping pretty badly. Nice drive back out to Jesse. He puts up the shot. Won't fall. Rebound. Mayo. And they'll slow it up. Chris Bennett in the lineup for Biddeford. He's number 21. And also, uh, we've got uh, Justin Cardiff, 11, back in. Cardiff on the drive, around Mayo, puts it up, won't fall, and who's got it? Out of bounds, T.A. ball. It was a nice drive by Justin Tardiff, just couldn't cash in on the shot. Uh, strong move. Again, you know, when you when you take it to the basket against Thornton, uh, you know, there's the big guy, Sean Mayo. Absolutely, there. he's there. We're down to 6.35 left in this game. It's an eight-point advantage. And as a foul, it'll be on Barassa coming across, I think. Yep. It'll put Mayo at the line. Third foul now, they say, on Barassa. 
ref talking to uh, Sean. He says, I'm okay. And he hits the first. He's three for four at the line tonight. That's 13 points, by the way, for Mayo. And uh, other scorers, Daly with 11, a point for Dupuy. And he hits them both. Six points by Skazinski, five by Winnie, and that's the scoring. In a now 14-point uh, performance tonight by uh, Sean Mayo. Barassa on the drive, puts it up. Won't fall. Strong rebound by Willette, crashing through. And he steps, I think, on the line, and we go the other way. Well, that's too bad, because that was a nice rebound there by Eric Willette. Uh, went up strong and just couldn't keep his balance and uh, landed out of bounds. It's a 10-point game now as TA has established uh, that double-digit uh, uh, lead that we were talking about. And they could be tough to catch at this point I think from this there. is the first time, right, Ron? It is tonight? the first time. Winnie for three. Yes! And that's a big basket there by Dan Winnie. Puts the game from a 10 to a 13-point lead. And a timeout being called. Dan Winnie's second three-point shot of the night. He has eight points for this team. Played a nice game on the outside for Thorn Academy. Well, it's uh, 13, as you said, Ron, with six minutes left. And uh, the Tigers really have got a hill to climb at this point, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do, especially against their defense. You know, they, they don't give you anything. So yep. you've got to earn every shot, and you know, you've got to make every shot a good one. Uh, and you're going to cash in on it. So it's going to be uh, going to be a tough haul here for uh, for the Tigers. Yeah, they had uh, they had it down to six at the end of three. But there have only been seven points scored in the fourth quarter, and all seven have been scored by Thorne Academy. And that tells you that. So it, Tigers still scoreless, and it's a 40 now, 40 to 27. This is the game of the week on the main cable network. We certainly hope you're enjoying it, and uh, we're having a great time bringing it to you in the jam-packed Linnell Gym here at Thorne Academy. Well, Ron we, Cody, Roger Painshaw, we're having a good time, right? Yes, we are, Roger. You know, we had a good one in the first yeah. one uh, with the girls, and... Uh, and we're having a, a very similar game here in the second, a good ball game. Exactly right. It's an important possession here for the Tigers. They need to, they need to get a hoop uh, and uh, try to uh, uh, squash this lead here a little. Yep. Get back into it as quickly as they can. Tardis will throw it in. And he's going to find Barassa. TA in a man-to-man -man right now is uh, Brown is uh, with the ball. Bennett, who hasn't played a whole lot tonight, but uh, has been strong when he was in there. Barassa again. Willette is cutting around in front, looking for the ball. Bennett looking to go inside, nothing there. Tardiff pops out. And the three-pointer won't fall. Rebounded in there by Tardiff. He goes down. Well, that tries to put it up. I think they're going to call a foul on Mayo, who uh, argues it a little bit, thinking he got all ball. Yeah, I, I, that was a you know a good rebound by Justin Tardiff, and mm -hmm. he went up and fell and didn't get the foul. But uh, Eric Ouellette uh, got that rebound and put it up. And uh, you know, uh, Coach Nelson's not happy with that call because Mayo was just standing there, had his arms straight up in the air, and. Uh, uh, you know, sometimes you oh get well. that call and sometimes you don't. Well, that hits the first. He's five for five at the line. All five points that he scored tonight have been at the line. He's yet to hit a field goal. And he's six for six. Boy, he's right on the money tonight. I foul guess. shooting. In fact, the Tigers are 10 for 11 at the line tonight. So that's outstanding. Abood now in the lineup with the ball. Tries to get inside. Mayo can't control it. It'll be off of the Biddeford player, I believe. Yeah, good Ouellette. hustle there by Eric Ouellette. Uh, tried to get the steal on that pass inside to Mayo. Abood will throw it in with 5.14 remaining in this ball game. It's a 40 to 29 score with the TA, of course, always maintaining the advantage. Winning. Out of his hands. Actually, he had nobody to blame but himself in that one. Yeah, well, Phil Barassa got uh, his uh, yeah. little finger in there. And Barassa tries to get past Mayo and uh, is not successful, obviously. Winnie comes out of there with the ball, and Daly now has it. Inside, Mayo looking to work. He's really bottled up by Willette. He's giving him a hard time. 
and Barasa steals it, stolen back by Mayo, however, and he's gonna get fouled, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think Sean Brown uh, got him. You are right. A lot of hustle there by Philip Barasa. You know, he got that steal and then just, uh, you know, uh, threw it away, but yep. uh, uh, really hustling all over the place. 442, it's still an 11 point advantage. PA with the ball, inside, looking, oh, almost picked out of there. Goes out of bounds, it should be PA ball, and it is. Well, again, Philip Barasa yeah. getting his hands in there. He's quick with his hands. Tries to go inside, but it's batted out by Ratcliffe. They'll try it again. Skazinski throwing the ball in. Playing, I think, with four fouls. Yes, you're right. Uh -huh. Yes, you're right. But with an 11-point advantage, it may not mean too much. Shot goes up, won't fall, Daly. Uh, ben Wilson worked hard, but it's uh, Tardiff that comes out of there with the ball. There's a two. And it goes. They give him a three, Rog. Do they really? Yeah, three-pointer right there. Okay, that was Sean Brown, I believe. Uh, no, that was Logan Ratcliffe. Was it? Okay. Yep. And another steal here by Philip Barassa. And he finds Ratcliffe driving for two. No, no, oh. steps. The Benefit fans will love that one. They don't <laughs> like that one either, Raj. I, that was a great play by Philip Barassa. He stole the ball, and he was on the floor, and what he did with his passes, he bounced it on yep. the floor, and it came up to Logan Ratcliffe for the layup. And they called him for steps. Oh, well. We have four minutes and eight seconds left here in the fourth quarter. It's getting good. 40 to 32 as the Tigers have come back to uh, trail this thing by eight. And uh, they're always there, sort of lurking in the background, you might say. In the earlier game, we saw the Biddeford girls come back from a 20-point deficit at one point to finally lose it. They lost it, but they lost it by only two. Right. And that fourth quarter was something else. Right. And now we've got a, a, a Tigers a d a down by eight points with four minutes and eight seconds left on the clock. The battle of the cheerleaders is going on here, by the way. We're not picking up all this stuff, but girls are flying up and being caught by other girls, and both sides are doing this stuff. It's great stuff. And the two teams come back out on the court. Well, it's gonna be Thornton Academy's ball here, and you're gonna see benefit in some kind of full court pressure. Yeah, they're gonna have to do that. Skazinski will throw it in. Wilson is on the court along with uh, Mayo. Daly and Dupuis, and it's Dupuis with the ball. Tries to get around Ratcliffe, and he's being bothered back there. Now he crosses the timeline. Daly alone for the three. That one won't fall, and it's uh, Willette coming out of there. Oh, great uh, check out there by Eric Willette. Barasso came back quickly. There's going to be a foul call. It'll be against whoever was guarding Ryan the, Daly Daly okay yep. Brian Daly and uh, Philip Barras <coughs> is gonna go to the line shooting one and one here first foul of the night for Daly he's played a lot of time here tonight well they get they you know Thon plays good defense but they play under control yep you know they don't they don't foul a lot they don't reach a lot they're just in great position all the time you're right a lot of credit there to coach Nelson the, the job he's done with uh, uh, Thon Academy and uh, in their defense Barrasso was on a one-on-one -on -one situation, missed the foul, so that took care of that, and at the other end, they make them pay for it. Well, that was a nice pass inside to Ben Wilson. Another great pass over here from Philip Barrasso for Justin Tata for an easy layup. And the uh, score starts to mount up very quickly now at uh, 42 to 34. Well, we're Eight seeing a lead. little up and down game here, Rod. We are. Which is uh, different from what we've seen most of the night. Mayo working, back out the three, no. Who's got it? Mayo. And he controls things nicely. Well, Mayo did a nice job of getting the ball inside and then kicking back out. He gets double teamed and he kicks it back out. He went to work on that one and um, a little strong. Pass comes down there to Tardiff who manages to control it and then has to slow things down. Eight point advantage, 245 left here in this game. Better if you're trying to cut it back down to six if they can, five would be better. Cardiff wants to drive, stops, puts it up. 
over Mayo, won't fall, and Mayo comes down there with another well, rebound. That's a big rebound by Sean Mayo there. Daly on the drive is gonna get hit, I think. Logan Radcliffe. Radcliffe. Yep, he reached in on that. Uh, uh, you know, that possession was a key possession there. Bit of a good, uh, couple of good looks at the basket, and uh, Sean Mayo came down with a, a huge rebound, I thought, yep. uh, in that possession. Loranger checking in uh, for Sean Brown. Ratcliffe stays in with four fouls now. Skazinski will be throwing the ball in. Winnie comes in for T.A. He'll replace uh, Wilson. So T.A. will go with their three uh, guard people out front. Winnie, Daly, and Dupuy. Skazinski, Mayo, the other two kids. Out front is Daly in the corner. Skazinski will come out of there. And here we go again, slowing the ball down. Waiting, 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 being patient. Winnie puts up a three. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, big basket there by Dan Winnie. Yeah, three threes tonight for Winnie. An 11 point performance by him. Certainly has to be considered uh, for his work tonight. Barassa with the ball. Takes the three. It goes. Well, Philip Barassa comes back and uh, gets the game down eight points, and Benefit calls a timeout with 148 left, and Thornton leads by eight. Yep, it's that eight-point lead that we seem to have been calling all night for some reason or other. 45-37 is the score, and uh, finally we see some offense by, you know, uh, Phil Barassa. Actually, it's his first field goal of the night, and it comes as a three. Because I understand his game is to move the ball, get it inside, uh, hustle on defense and do all those other things, which he does extremely well. But yeah, if but a kid he, can throw threes like that, he should be doing a lot of that, too. Yeah, he can shoot it. There's no question about it. Uh, uh, you know, he just doesn't look for it a whole lot. He right. doesn't take it a whole lot. You know, he, he'd rather get an assist and, uh, than get a basket. But yep. when he's open like that, he can knock it down, and that was a big shot there for him. Well, it keeps them within, within reach. That doesn't mean they're going to win anything right. here tonight, but they're in reach. Well, they're being very competitive here against a, against a good Thornton team. Yep, no doubt about it. Skazinski with the ball, thinks of going inside and thinks better of it. Daly is going to be fouled. That'll be Barassa. And it should send Daly to the line. Well, one now, on one. right now the game's going to go to the foul line, and, uh, uh, you know, Thornton's got to make their foul shots. They make their foul shots, and they should, uh, shouldn't have any trouble uh, winning this game. You're right. 135 left, Daly at the line, one on one. He has 11 points tonight, also a nice performance by Brian Daly. And that rims out, out of bounds, it'll be against, off Ratcliffe. PA maintains possession. But there's Brian Skazinski again, hitting yeah, the offensive exactly. boards and getting a piece of it and uh, making that happen. Out front, not quite, Mayo intercepts it, Daly has a thought. And he'll be fouled, it'll be Barassa, and that'll be five, I think, on I Mr. Barassa. I believe so. You know, Sean Mayo, you know, he, he they, they give him the ball in the paint. If he gets double teamed, he does just a great job of kicking the ball out to the open man, and uh, that, that, you know, that causes a lot of problems for the defensive team. For sure. Chris Bennett will check in, replacing Barassa, who does have the five fouls now. And Daly uh, will be at the line. Well, Phillip uh, had a nice game, uh, did a great job uh, defensively, got quite a few steals, made some nice passes. Yep. Uh, you know, ran the offense for the Tigers. Sean Brown in for Wallet. Daly at the line for a couple. One on one, actually, gets the first. Well, Brian Daly's, uh, he's come off the bench for Thornton, and uh, he's played extremely well, I thought, tonight, uh, uh, getting quite a few points for them, and yep. uh, uh, doing a, just a, nice an outstanding job. job. Misses the second, again, Skazinski over the back with the foul, the rebound, but uh, there's no call there. It'll just be off Thorn Academy, and Biddeford will have possession. We have a minute and 30 left. It's a nine-point game now at 46-37, and it's looking better and better for Thornton all the time. Ratcliffe with the ball on the outside. Bennett. Back up front, Ratcliffe. Big drive, up and in! Oh, nice drive by Logan there. Uh, timeout call by Biddeford. 11 points now for Logan Ratcliffe. He's got five here in the fourth quarter, working hard. Well, Logan's not afraid to take the ball to the basket against uh, 
uh, whoever's in there. And you know who's in there. Sean Mayo's That's in right. there. That's right. He just goes over the top of him. It's a seven-point game at 46-39. We have a minute and 14 seconds left. It's been a good one here in uh, Barn Academy. We hope you've enjoyed it on the main cable network. Well, Thorn Academy with a win here tonight would advance, would go up to uh, seven and two. And uh, that's not bad for this team. Uh, good looking team. As we've said many, many times tonight, uh, just a, a, a poised, a deliberate offense and a strong defense, and boy, it's hard to beat. Well, everything they do, Rog, they do off their defense, and yeah. their defense is so strong that they come into every game, and every night, they you, you never have an off night defensively. So, the, the, you know, offensively, you can have an off night. Right. Because you're not always going to be hot shooting, but defensively, they're solid, they're consistent, and you've got to earn everything you get when you play them. Loranger is going to foul uh, Daly, so he'll be back to the line. He's been there a few times already tonight. I really like the way Thorn Academy plays together, too, offensively. They play together as a team. Yep. They move the ball around uh, extremely well. Daly hits the first. He's two for four of the line. Now has 13 points. And looking to make it 14 points. Binette with the ball, bringing it up quickly. Sean Brown. Boy, that was just taken out of his hands and uh, called a, uh, a jump, but the possession will favor Thorn Academy. Well, Sean good, Mayo, huh? Right, good defense there by Sean Mayo. Sean has 14 points as well for Thorn Academy, so he and Daly are the leading scorers tonight. Another foul by Loranger. This will put Winnie at the line with exactly one minute left in this game. It's 48 to 39, and TA is looking strong here as we come down into the final minute. Well, and I guess we're gonna see the parade to the foul line, right? Right, uh, there's no question. That's what happens here at uh, towards the end of the game. Um, you know, in, in the league that, uh, that uh, Thornton and uh, uh, Benefit and uh, Massabese, I believe it's called the Southwest region. Okay. Uh, Thorn Academy is number one in uh, okay uh, in the, in their league. So, and as we can see, why you know they, they play good basketball. Yep, they do. Twelve points, by the way, for Dan Winnie, the boy at the line. He's looking for number thirteen, and he doesn't get it. But he's had a nice night here too. A rebound there by uh, Matt Lozon, who just came in the game, and uh, yeah. uh, Coach Fecto has emptied his bench and uh, has put in some of the uh, uh, substitute players. Bennett being hounded out front, gets it over to uh, Loranger, tries a bounce pass over here to Ratcliffe. We're down to 30, 39, 38 seconds. Bennett wants to drive, finds Ratcliffe instead, and Ratcliffe puts up a beautiful shot for three. Yeah, good shot there. Uh, by uh, Logan Radcliffe and uh, and we got a timeout being called right there's only 30 seconds left in the game and uh, you know uh, Thornton had benefit uh, uh, with scoring only 39 points tonight until that last shot and right. I think they were uh, a little disappointed that uh, uh, they, <laughs> they got over 40, 40. Yeah. yeah yeah it's 49 42 and uh, Radcliffe has had a pretty good night himself he's got 14 points for the Tigers and uh, would be and is their leading scorer. Tardiff has seven, Barassa with five, Jesse Brown is six, Sean Brown four, Eric Will at six, and then Ratcliffe with the 14. And we're gonna go back to the foul line, I guess. Bo so Daly will get to do it all over again. And he hits another one. Well, good teams usually make their foul shots down the stretch, and Thorn Academy has executed that uh, again tonight. Absolutely. 
Gets them both. Nine point advantage, 29 seconds left. And we're just running out the string here. Rackliff back to Binette. Goes baseline, tries to put it up. Mayo swallows him up, gets the ball, and gets a foul. It'll put Sean Mayo at the line. Foul is on Bennett, his first of the night. We're down to 16 seconds left now. And so TA will improve to seven and two, and the Tigers will fall to two and seven. First meeting of the season, of course, for these two teams. They'll do it again at Biddeford a little later on. And that'll be another great game. We're emptying the benches here as uh, all lots of new folks are coming in. Mayo and Dupuy, Wilson. Trying to get all the kids in here. Number 45 is Greg Holland. Number 12 is TJ Metcalf. And uh, more folks coming in. Brett Gangan, number 34, as Mayo will, will sit. Uh, Ryan Monroe, number 14. I think that covers it. No, 33 is Keel Martin. Shot goes up and won't fall. That was uh, Matt Lozon, and that also ended the game. Our final score from Thorne Academy, it's TA 52 and Bitterford 42. We've got to come up with our most valuable player, my friend. Uh, my vote tonight, yeah. Raj, would be uh, Sean Mayo. Uh, uh, you know, scored, uh, I don't know, 14, 15 points. And, uh, uh, but just his presence on defense, uh, got a number of rebounds, uh, block shots. Uh, made people change their shots. Yep. You know, the defensive presence is just uh, a, a valuable uh, factor for uh, Thorn Academy. No bother about it. And it's going to be St. Michael Sears and Biddeford. MVP award goes to center Sean Mayo of Thorn Academy for his outstanding performance here tonight. Well, I think that'll wrap it up for um, this great game. Always fun doing this with you, Ron. We'll do it again down the line, I'm sure. So for my good buddy, Ron Cody, this is Roger Panchel thanking you all. Hope you enjoyed this game on the Game of the Week. Hope you'll join us again real soon. Until then, good night.